Hi everyone, I just want to make a quick video on how to uh, strip NMD cable, specifically uh, 14.2 NMD. So first thing you're gonna need when you wanna do this is obviously the wire itself. This is 14.2 NMD. You can see, well, you can kind of see right there on the cable itself. It is uh, 14 conductor, there it is. 14 gauge, two conductor, copper, NMD cable. Next thing you're going to need is a knife of some sort. This is the one I'm using, but use whatever you got. Um, and then essentially what you're going to be doing is inside the makeup of this wire, you're always going to have a, um, for 14.2, you're going to have a black wire, a white wire, and a copper wire, which is your bond wire running right through the middle. Uh, the way I do it, and the way I've always done it, um, is I will stick my knife, and you can kind of see where I'm going with this, right in the middle of that cable. So I'm almost aiming for that bare copper conductor, right? I'm going to stick my knife straight through, applying nice, constant, even pressure to the point where I get straight through. Now, to me, that looks like, and you can kind of see more than likely that bond wire is gonna be on the top side or the bottom side, if you're looking this way. So I'm going to be able to slide my knife along the conductor itself and I won't go into that copper conductor at all and now you can see as I'm splitting it I was correct it is on the bottom side or if I'm looking at that side it's on the top side of that blade um, and I'm going to keep sliding my knife along until I get to the end and from that point on I'm able to peel this uh, cable like a banana and get the other pieces and then I'm just going to take off the excess so it'll cut here uh, take off the excess piece, cut there, cut there, and now I have that cable stripped. Now the next step, uh, what I want to just show you again, is how to deal with uh, boxes themselves. So uh, for this, uh, once you have the wire stripped, the next tool you're going to need is a uh, red Robertson screwdriver or a number two Robertson. Okay. If you have a box that's been used once before already, um, more than likely the tabs are going to look like this so they've already been peeled back if not the tabs are going to look like this you can't put the wire through there well i guess you could try it won't fit properly though you'll be struggling um, and it's not proper to go through those holes what those tabs are actually for is you put i typically put a screwdriver in there i'll bend these tabs out and then from there i'll be able to use my hands and just bend that forward the second thing you want to do is inside there, you have this little clamp. That clamp actually holds the wire in place. So I'm going to stick my screwdriver in there, loosen that off to the point where now you can see it's, you can basically go straight through. And then you're able to enter the wire into the box and it should come out the front. That point, you're ready to uh, tie or strap down this, this cable. So you're going to Stick your screwdriver in and you're going to tighten up that conductor, or sorry, that uh, strap. You, and you want, notice inside here, there's only roughly, I would say a quarter of an inch. There's a little tab in behind there. I'm only going to meet that tab. Uh, you don't need that much white uh, of the sheathing in there. Um, and you definitely don't want to see the black and white conductors coming out the top. Okay, so tightening that up. And it doesn't have to be super tight, just snug. Um, and after that, you're going to take your black and your white conductor, or sorry, your black and your white conductor, get them out of the way, and you're going to wrap the bond wire, so that's the brass colored screw or the copper colored screw or the copper colored wire around the screw in the back of the box, and you're going to tighten that up. Remember, you're always going clockwise around the screw itself. Let's see if we can get a nice camera angle here. This is a little difficult. It's right there. All right, so now I'm going clockwise around you don't have to go all the way around if you don't want to those little tabs in the back of that so let me see if i can't zoom in a bit uh, the little tabs in the back right there and on that side actually prevent the wire from falling out anyways so once you have that in that um, configuration there you can strip these wires you can do whatever you need to do this could be uh tucked back in the back of the box because you don't really need it at that point it would be ready for a receptacle and if you're not using these you just simply tuck them back if you are uh, you would uh, strip them and use morettes or receptacle or a switch or whatever you're putting on that device.